हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ जीबी पटेल लेक्चरर इन मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट वीपीएमपी पॉलिटेक्निक द सब्जेक्ट इज फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड हाइड्रोलिक मशीन द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज ट्रिपल थ्री वन नाइन जीरो थ्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्पेसिफिक स्पीड ऑफ टर्बाइन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू डिराइव द स्पेसिफिक स्पीड ऑफ टर्बाइन सो लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट the definition or the concept of specific speed of turbine which is denoted by ns so take one actual turbine which is operated under a h meter head producing p kilowatt power and its speed is n rpm okay now model 1 turbine design one model turbine which is operated under a unit head that means h is equal to 1 meter and produce 1 unit power that means p is equal to 1 kilowatt and that design model turbine must be identical identical with actual turbine okay the design model turbine must be identical with actual turbine identical in which manners shape that means the design model turbine must be same uh with actual turbine in shape in geometrical dimension geometrical dimension means blade angle gate opening etc okay so speed of that turbine is considered as specific speed of turbine so now let us read the definition so we can understand specific speed of turbine is defined as the speed of turbine which develops unit power when working under a unit head this model turbine unit head uh, operated on the unit head produce one unit power that is identical in shape geometrical dimension like blade angle gate opening etc with actual turbine so this design model turbine must be identical with actual turbine in shape in geometrical dimension so speed of this turbine is considered as specific speed of turbine let us derive the specific speed of turbine as we know the absolute velocity sometime absolute velocity of turbine is also considered as a flow velocity of turbine which can be calculated by this equation v is equal to square root 2g h so in this equation square root 2g is constant so mathematically you can say v is directly proportional to square root h why because square root 2g is constant so this v is directly proportional to square root h the absolute velocity v is directly proportional to the tangent velocity the tangent velocity of a turbine is denoted by small u so this absolute velocity is directly proportional to tan tangent velocity and absolute velocity is directly proportional to square root h so you can v is directly proportional to u is directly proportional to square root h so u is directly proportional to square root h say equation number 1 now tangent velocity u can be calculated by u is equal to pi d and divided by 60 so in this equation d is diameter of the turbine and is speed of the turbine so pi by 60 is constant so you can say u is directly proportional to diameter into rpm or speed of turbine so u is directly proportional to d into n as we know u is directly proportional to square root h equation number 1 u is directly proportional to square root h so instead of u you can put square root h so here instead of u we can put square root h which is directly proportional to dn because equation number 1 so from this you can get d is directly proportional to square root h divided by n so equation number now we know the definition of discharge which is which can be calculated by q is equal to velocity into area so velocity into area area can be calculated by pi by 4 d square 
so in this equation pi by 4 is constant so q is directly proportional to v into d square so q is directly proportional to v into d square instead of v i can put square root h why because v is directly proportional to square root h equation number one v is directly proportional to square root h okay so v is directly proportional to square root h so i can put instead of v square root h so v is direct uh, instead of v i can put here square root h so q is directly proportional to square root h into d square so q is directly proportional to d square into square root h instead of d i can put square root h by n because equation number two instead of d i can put square root h divided by n so it's a square root h divided by n whole square divided by square root h so h square h square and square root get cancelled so here h only h will remain and divided by n square into square root h here you can see h is directly uh, sorry q is directly proportional to h divided by n square into h raised to one half square root h if in the uh, base is same we have to multiply index so h raised to one and h raised to one half that means h one plus one half is three by two so you can say q is directly proportional to h raised to three by two divided by n square say equation number three now overall efficiency can be calculated by this equation overall efficiency of the turbine is equal to p divided by rho g q h so you can say p is equal to overall efficiency eta o into rho, uh, uh, rho g q h so in this equation eta rho g these three are constant so you can say p is directly proportional to q into h and instead of this q you can put h sorry h is to 3 by 2 divided by n square so h is to 3 by 2 divided by n square into h so 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 so p is directly proportional to h is to 5 by 2 divided by n square to remove this proportionality i have to put here k which is constant so p is equal to k into h raised to 5 by 2 divided by n square say equation number 4 where k is constant now as we know the definition of specific speed the model design turbine must be operated under a unit head and produce unit power so in equation number 4 if i want to derive ns then i have to uh, put p is equal to 1 h is equal to 1 and n is equal to ns see the slide number one yes this slide this n must be ns in design design model turbine power is equal to one unit and head is equal to a one unit so if we want to derive the ns we must have to put p is equal to one h is equal to one and n is equal to ns in equation number four sorry equation number five so we can get one is equal to k instead of this h one ns is equal to n is equal to ns and p is equal to one so we can get one is equal to k into one raised to five by two divided by ns square so k from this equation you can get k is equal to n square put again this k into equation number four this equation number four after j k any value derive curry that we have to put in equation number four so p instead of k we have to put n s square h raised to 5 by 2 divided by n square as it is so n s square is equal to p into n square divided by h raised to 5 by 2 I take h raised to 5 by 2 divided by n square on the left hand side. So n square is equal to p into n, n square divided by h raised to 5 by 2. Uh, ns is equal to I take square root on both sides. So n square become ns. 
p becomes square root p n square n square root so 2 n square root get cancelled so it's a n and square root of 5 by 2 must be 5 by 4 so specific speed of the turbine is is equal to ns is equal to n into square root p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 so this is the final equation of the specific speed of the turbine which is ns is equal to n into square root p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 n is a speed of actual turbine p is a power produced by actual turbine h is a head of actual turbine and ns is a specific speed of design model turbine thank you